Hi guys! So I'm going to do my MAC lipstick collection video for you today. I had a couple of requests to do this actually um, and I thought I would sit down and do it. Um, I apologise this could be a very long video. I'm not famous for my short videos as it is anyway. So um, I'm not really sure how long this is going to take but I'm not going to do swatches of them all. I'm just going to go through them and tell you which are my favourites and stuff. So um, I keep them in this um, basket here along with all my other lip, lip products, so there's all glosses and everything in here. I'm just going to do the lipsticks today. Um, lipsticks are really something that I've only just got into, I'd say, in the last year to 18 months. And um, I, I'm a bit, I say I'm a fan of lipsticks, but I have to say I pretty much only own MAC lipsticks. And it is a bit narrow-minded of me, but I kind of see them as like, it's a bit like my obsession with nail varnish. I kind of have to see them as like little collector's items and I kind of want to have like the latest one or you know one that's really limited edition which is why I was so gutted I couldn't get anything from the Iris Apfel collection because it just sold out so fast I just couldn't even get anything that I wanted. So um but so yeah, I've got a few limited edition ones in here, but I'm just going to show you everything, and they're not in any order. I'm just going to pick out from the um, from the basket. Okay, so I can't remember what my first ones were. But actually, that's my most recent, so I'll leave that to the end. Um, I think my very first matte lipstick was Love Lawn, which is one of my absolute favourites, which I'm not going to be able to find quick enough probably now. And um, I I mean I haven't been wearing lipstick long enough to have to have um, repurchased any of these yet, there's Love Lawn, um, except this was, is my second tube because I lost the first one, but it's really nice, pretty pink, uh, it's like my lips but better, it's a lustre, um, and it's gorgeous, what else have we got, Pink Nouveau, now this is my absolute favourite bright pink, it's kind of a blue based pink, it's very wearable, it's really pretty, and um, a lot of people say this is kind of like, I've worn a couple of other colours and then I've gone back to this and they've said, yeah, that one really, really suits you. And it looks nice when you just kind of dab it on as a really nice, uh, like a light lipstick as well as wearing it full on. Love that. Um, this is one of my favourites actually. This is called Julabi, G-U-L-A-B-I. Um, and it's an amplified. And it was from the... Um, Oh, Mickey Contractor collection. It was like the Indian inspired co um, collection which came out about a year ago, I think. Maybe less than that. And um, it's really pretty. It's like, um, I think it's very similar to um, Girl About Town. It's quite um, saturated, pinky, ready pink, I suppose. Um, it's really pretty. I get a lot of compliments on that. Um, then this is my absolute favourite for the summer. It's Dressmaker Dressmaker. It's probably my most used lipstick. Um, it's a very um, peachy nude. It really, really suits me. I can't wait till the day they re-release this because I will be buying it straight away. Um, and it came out with the Dressmaker collection as well. That was a limited edition one. Peach Stock, which I got recently. Um, it's kind of more of a beigey nude. I don't get on very well with nudes. I've not really found my perfect nude yet. I think Dressmaker might be it because um, it's more peachy. Um, but anything that's leaning more corally really, really suits me. But I like this with a lip um, gloss. It's a satin, um, but I can't really wear it on its own because it just looks like I've just got foundation all over my lips. It doesn't really suit me. Uh, Made with Love, which is a luster. Uh, this is one of my first ones, I think, but um, I can't remember. I don't know if it's permanent or not. It's pretty. It's it's like a light frosted pink. Uh, I don't wear it very often. Ruby Woo, which is one of my most recent collection uh, uh, bought ones. Uh, it's a matte red, like a signature matte mac red it's really pretty um i've only worn it a couple of times so far i got i got it to wear during uh, this christmas for like parties and stuff uh snob which is like a blue based pink um i have good days and bad days with this sometimes it suits me sometimes it doesn't i think i probably need to be a little bit more tan to pull it off um 
I don't know, on my hand, I don't know why it wouldn't work, but then when I wear it, I just am always kind of underwhelmed by it, and I sometimes end up taking it off. Um, Hue, which I was recommended by one of the makeup artists. I said I went in and I said that I wanted a nude lipstick, and he gave me this. And I, I just have never got on with it. Um, I know some people's like go-to lipstick, but for for me it's just not the right tone. I don't know why, but it just doesn't make me look very healthy. <laughs> or, uh, you know, it makes my teeth look yellow and I don't have yellow teeth and I, I don't really know why it doesn't, I don't get on with it. Um, this one's called Mare, M-E-H-R, and this is from the Mickey Contractor collection as well. And I, I bought it based off, like, Temptalia swatches because I bought these online and I couldn't get to a shop it goes with the Julabi that I had earlier and it's such a pretty colour it's a matte and I've only really got into wearing it I kind of dismissed it I kind of like that was a disappointing purchase um, but it's so pretty with a, a little bit of gloss over the top it's kind of like I feel like it's my darkest toned lipstick um, but it just looks really really nice really looks really well done just like you've done your makeup nicely it looks really good uh, Ravishing, which I put in my all-time favourites, well, July, um, 2011 favourites, and it really, really is. It's so pretty. It's my perfect colour lipstick. If I could never have, or if I could ever just have one colour of lipstick, I think this would be it. I definitely find that the coral, peachy, orangey-toned ones suit me the best, I think. As much as I love pink lipstick, and I really do. Uh, it's a cream sheen, so it's slightly glossy. Um, it's really, really pretty. Let's see if I can find Everhip now. I have two Everhips. I have the original uh, Liberty of London one, um, which I adore. But the packaging's cracked. I, I love the packaging. I am a massive fabric fan, so I'm a huge fan of like the William Morris kind of design that's on there, which is the Strawberry Thief. I have some fabric in this, which I'm going to make some cushions with. And... Um, it's quite similar. It is more pinky, I suppose, than ravishing. Um, I prefer the original version. I don't know why, but I find the newer one slightly more drying. I don't know. If, I don't know. It could just be my imagination, but I, I find it slightly more drying. But I, I do absolutely love this. I'm glad I've got two of them. I really am, because I don't. I kind of. I'm keeping the. Um, the William Morris one, the Liberty of London one, um, for my collection. And I think this is the first lipstick out of my entire collection that I just absolutely loved. Like, I was wearing it every day, and I just... It's the first time, I think, out of everything that's happened since probably the first one. I've got a few more now recently, but that was definitely the first one. Um, Speed Dial was one I got with Love Lawn, and I thought they were very similar, but they're not. It's much more of a more, it's a brighter pink than Love Lawn. It's more of a wearable uh, pink. I love that. It's a cream sheen as well. That would be like a staple. I always have that in my handbag, um, in my makeup bag, in my bag, because it's just like one I can just put on without looking, and it looks good all the time. Um, Costa Chic, which I love. It's like my summer lipstick. Um, it's got a slight... Well, it has. It's got a frost to it. It is a frost. Um, but it's it's so pretty on. And it looks great with, like, coral lister on your cheeks and a little bit of a tan and a bit of bronzer. Such a great colour. I love that. Um, then Neon Orange, which is my absolute fave of last year. Um, it's so pretty. I just love it not what I'm wearing today but it is so gorgeous I, I know I've spoken about it loads recently so I won't go on about that anymore the one I am wearing today is a cream sheen and it's called hibiscus and it was from the surf baby collection and um, it's similar but it's more it's not as intense I suppose um, and I've not really worn this I bought this um, a, this last summer and it's really pretty. I didn't, I almost skipped it, but I think I got it from Selfridges because it was the only place that had it left. And um, Selena Jelly Baby and I were talking about it on Twitter at the time and 
um, she, we were in two minds about whether we were both going to get it or not and we did and it looked gorgeous on her and it, what, I think that's what convinced me to get it so I've kept I've kept the boxes for like those kind of things so like I've got my original ever hit box and and um, those I've just kept those I don't keep them in the box but I have kept the boxes um, I have another luster it's Cockney which is um, a more of a shiny sh slightly sheer red uh, I do like it um, but I don't always go for it it was my first really uh, red lipstick um, and it's it's not it's a nice lipstick it's not as intense as wearing if you if you just want to start on a red with a red that's a good one to start with I think uh, Candy Yum Yum I'm getting through this quicker than I thought. Candy Yum Yum, which is a matte pink. Um, really pretty as well. I spoke about that in my other favourites video. It's um, something I would reserve just for the summer. Um, and I really love it. Then I've got... Where should I go with next? This one. This is from the Wonder Woman collection. It's called Marquise which is like a gold toned nude it's okay I, again it's not really my favourite um, I just wanted something from the collection in the packaging um, and I think I've got the box as well yeah I just kept the box um, I really like the packaging of these big collections it's sort of part of why you buy it really uh, then my most recent purchase is um, Impassioned which is an amplified really gorgeous bright like Barbie pink, pink, <laughs> bright pink. It's not blue toned, which is good. Um, it's definitely more like rosy, ready toned, which is good because it's different to like Pink Nouveau and stuff. I love that one. I haven't got an, a huge amount of use out of it yet, but I only just got it before Christmas. And then I have three of the um, Viva Glam lipsticks. So my absolute fave is Gaga. Love it. I wish I'd got a backup of it now, but never mind. I could have got one at Christmas, I suppose. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, I prefer this, I think, to a nude, because it's like a nudie pink. Um, and I just think it looks gorgeous. Um, my mum bought me this as a surprise, because I couldn't get, get it in England. And she bought it for me in Europe and came home with it, and I was, like, forever grateful. I think I've still got the packaging. I know I have somewhere. I have got the box still. Then, a little while later, I didn't get it at the time, my mum did, she bought me Gaga and she bought herself Cindy, but I borrowed it off her and I loved it and I thought it was a great introduction to a red, it's a really nice kind of raspberry red, um, and again, yeah, it's just really pretty and obviously these ones are, are great to buy anyway, it's good to support that cause. And then, finally, I have Viva Glam, uh, V, which is five, right? No, I don't know. Um, and it was from the Tartan collection, uh, which was Christmas, I think, two years ago. Oh no, Christmas last year, I think. And it's actually a really pretty, quite sheer, brownie nude. Um, it's got a little bit of like metallic to it. It's a luster. Um, I haven't worn it a lot. It's very pretty. And then. Finally, I think that's it. I won't go into lip glosses and stuff now. So I can do that in a separate video if you wish. Um, one of the ones I bought in September, I think, or October, it's a Sheen Supreme lipstick in full speed. And these are a new launch, and they're really nice. They are very glossy, really pretty. This is um, like a pink coral. Uh, I really, really love it. They're really moisturising. Um, they're like the best of the cream sheens that you get in the normal collection. So I definitely think I might switch to getting a couple of these this year. Um, so yeah, wow, <laughs> quite a lot of lipsticks. Um, I, I really do like matte lipsticks. And for me, they are like little collector's items and I'm really excited when I get one and it's kind of like exciting to go and get one and and stuff so um, it's funny when I go and look for another one now I'm kind of pulling out ones that I've already got and stuff so um, yeah I um, if you've got any that you think I'd like or some of your favourites let me know what your favourites are your favourite MAC lipsticks or any other brand because 
I kind of do need to expand my horizons a little bit. I have a few Chanel lipsticks, like I said, the, the um, Rouge Coco Shines, but that's it. I've got one from Revlon, uh, a couple from Bobbi Brown, and that's it. That, oh, and one from YSL, and that's my collection, really. So most of them are MAC. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. I will um, do a blog post on this, and I'll put some pictures and stuff as well. I hope everyone's well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.